Alrighty, so I wanted to do a video comparing the output of three of my torches. And these are the three um, flashlights here. I've got the Sofern SP35, the Sofern SC31 Pro, and I've got the Wuben C2, all on freshly charged batteries. And over here, I have um, a Lux app sort of installed onto two phones. These flashlights are all rated at 2000 lumens, but again, um, you, you, you know, you find that due to the differences in drivers, uh, differences in heat sinking and stuff like that, you might find some of them are brighter than others even of the same uh, specifications on paper. So I'm gonna turn that light off and then you're gonna be able to see how uh, they compare. Okay, so first up, I am just gonna reset these meters, these apps, and uh, I've got a little testing area to the side here, just put a bit of, a little bit of tape on the table. And what I'm gonna do is I just put them all into turbo. This is the Wuben C2. And with all these lights, it's pretty much the same where uh, basically, if you have them on for too long, the temperature regulation just kicks in to help make sure that the LEDs don't uh, burn out. So I'm just going to see how far this actually drops. Because I don't think it's been more than even a minute. So it seems to be holding, um, depending on which phone you're looking at, but... The one on the left around the 112, 113, 112, 113. Sometimes what you can get with some flashlights is that they ramp down and then they ramp up again as soon as the uh, light cools down. And uh, then it goes back down. So you have this sort of up and down pattern, whereas some flashlights just slowly ramp down and then hold a consistent value for however long until the battery dies. Okay, so coming up next is the Sofern SC31 Pro. This is a new flashlight I just got the other day. It's an 18650 flashlight. And um, again, it's rated at 2000 lumens. So let's go ahead and reset these figures. 312224. Okay. And the SC31, let's, um, let's give this a go. Turbo. Okay, so you can see some pretty heavy uh, drops now in brightness. Very, very heavy drops with the SC31. Um, it's gone all the way into the 20s uh, from a 300, but uh, 300 lux. So look, you've got to keep in mind that this flashlight is a lot smaller, so there's less ability to transfer heat to the body, maybe dissipate heat as well. And the turbo mode as well is not meant to be used for long periods. I think on any flashlight, you're going to get some kind of uh, ramping down unless you've got a flashlight with an enormous host and uh, maybe one or two LEDs in there. So it seems to be holding on about 25-ish, 25 plus lux, um, but it does ramp down quite aggressively. I've got the SP35 and we'll reset these figures again. Go straight into turbo. Okay, seems to be holding on about 120 something lux. Um, has been sitting on that for a while now. Okay, so just for comparison's sake, I've got the Sofern IF25A here. It's a close to 4,000 lumen flashlight. Should have double the output of all those other 2,000 lumen flashlights. Let's go ahead and test this out in turbo. There you have it, 621 lumens, which is, yeah, that's um, what we expected. It's got double the values of those other 2,000 lumen 
flashlights. And uh, just for fun, I've got the Imolent MS-03 and I'll pop this one on turbo and we will see what the figures are. 1355. So it's all pretty consistent with what we expected, especially with the, the Imolent MS-03 being a 13,000 lumen light. Okay, so I've got the lights back on. That was a really interesting test. Um, I know it was based just on an app from my phone, but I think it gives you a good general indication of the relative brightness um, brightness of each of the these flashlights, how the regulation works in each of them. You've got these so ferns, which have this sort of up and down regulation. They start off pretty bright, then they drop down significantly and then slowly climb up, back up again and then drop again so it's sort of this up and down regulation whereas you've got the uh, Wuben C2 that sort of just uh, starts off pretty bright similar to the SP35 but it actually um, drops to a lower level and doesn't seem to climb back up again in terms of the the Lux figures so that's one thing I did notice about the Wuben compared to the Soferns it, the, the Wuben C2 ramps down a lot faster than these two even though the uh, the host is seems really chunky i mean compared to both the soferns i would have thought this one would be able to take a you know a bit more heat and um i think maybe it's just the the driver or just the the programming that's um, that was built into this flashlight one thing i do find interesting is that the wuben has a um a brighter hot spot and so I always thought that the C2 was actually brighter than the Sofern SP35. The Sofern does produce the highest Lux readings, but the hotspot is not as intense as the C2. So really just depends on um, what you'd like. I mean, this one does throw further than the SP35. Um, I do like the SC31 Pro and in terms of like how, how bright it is for um, such a small light. It ramps down fairly aggressively, but I think that's necessary for a flashlight that's uh, this small. But producing similar figures, uh, similar Lux figures to both of these um, 21700 cell flashlights, that's really impressive. And, you know, it's a lot more portable as well. Uh, one thing you'll find is that the the beam profile the hotspot is uh, less prominent than both of these other sp35 and c2 flashlights um, and the beam profile is a little bit kind of ringy on the outside as well but um, i actually quite like this flashlight and just how bright it is considering um, you know the smaller sort of package it comes in and um, the overall construction is is fantastic but just keep in mind that it does ramp down fairly aggressively so um, of course, there's a few other tests I could run. I could just start it off in medium and stuff like that. But um, I just wanted to do this uh, this one to test mainly the, how, how bright these flashlights are under turbo. So um, pleased with the results. And I think that if I were to choose uh, which flashlights to bring out with me, I reckon I'd probably go with either one of these, the Soferns. I'm just so impressed with how well regulated they are. And... Um, yeah, just the amount of brightness that they produce, you know, con considering um, their price, you get a great product that's constructed well, you get the batteries included, and um, and I do like the, the drivers in them as well. So anyway, that's the end of the video. So uh, thank you for watching. And if you want to see some more, if you want to support me, do consider subscribing. That helps to build my channel.